Hi my honeys, welcome back to my canal. So I know that I always upload on Tuesdays, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, I definitely filled you guys in on why, uh, but I'll tell you anyways. <laughs> I just have been really, really busy and have not been able to film and edit for you guys. So I am, I finally got to it and I uploaded this video for you guys today on Wednesday. But don't worry, you will still get three videos out of me this week and still count on the um, maquillaje en español on Saturday. So I'm still going to do that for you guys. Um, it's just been a crazy weekend and these last couple of days. But anyways, for today's video, I decided to do something super extreme with the eyeshadow. <laughs> I am such a fan of colorful, bright, eyeshadows if you guys are new to my channel i don't just do bronzy you know your simple basic eyeshadow looks which i still love but there's also another part of me and i love creative makeup looks something that's literally like whoa you know <laughs> i love having fun and playing with colorful eyeshadows bold colors liners um, I just love the art of makeup as well. Um, even though I do love, you know, the glam bronzy makeup looks, which are still my favorite, this still has a piece of my heart. Um, and I love creating these makeup looks. I also have a lot of girls that do watch me who also love to create fun Instagram makeup looks. <laughs> I know that with 2022, I mean 2022, oh my god, <laughs> 2021 and 2020, the makeup game has seriously changed to very minimal, very fox eye, and you guys already know that I'm obsessed with that. Um, but I, there's still a part of me that still loves the art of makeup um, and just having fun sitting here, listening to music and playing um, for you guys and showing you guys how to create these looks. Um, it's just also my favorite thing to do. So with that said, I am showing you guys step by step on how to create this cut crease. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet with this video. Um, I just went in, okay? I went in, I played with my eyes. <laughs> so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and zip it and let's go ahead and begin. All right. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm going to go into the Morphe 35 Sweet Oasis palette, taking the shade called Secret Lagoon, and then using my Morphe M506 brush for today's look. I wanted to use some palettes that you guys could still buy today and that are available inside the Morphe stores. Um, so you're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to start to apply this in the crease and then just move it back and forth. But we're mainly building up this color in the crease and we're we're not taking it further up than what you guys see here because we are going to start to layer with different shades. So you guys already know my technique. I always like to pat the eyeshadow and then start to blend it back and forth um, in my crease. <laughs> I'm going to switch the palettes. <laughs> I'm going to go into the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe Volume 2 palette, taking the shade called Not My Journey. And it's just a nice, like, very bright purple. And we're going to start to place it right on top, or not on the top, but, you know, start to blend out the edges of the first shade. And once again, I do pat, and then I start to blend it back and forth. So you pretty much want to build up the intensity, you guys, and... Um, you don't want to lose the first shade that you placed either and then you also don't want to lose the purple because we are also going to layer on top of that one and blend out those edges um, so you're pretty much just building up whatever colors you want to use I'm still using the Morphe M506 just because it's very small it's very precise and it really keeps the eyeshadow where I want it to stay and as you guys can see here the more that I keep building up that purple um, you know the more brighter and intense it starts to look. Um, I'm obsessed with these two particular palettes so whenever I'm going to create something very dramatic and bold and I know that the eyeshadows are going to perform very well and true to its color these are definitely the palettes. Morphe has definitely been stepping it up um, with these um, two palettes recently. Um, I just love the quality the pigmentation and I just never have any issues when it comes to blending out and when you're using different colors. I hope that makes sense. 
still using that same Morphe palette with Jaclyn Hill, taking the shade called Lolly Mama. And you guys guessed it, we're doing the exact same thing like what we did with the previous two shades that we've placed. So you just want to blend out any harsh lines. And then later on, we will build up again and go back into Not My Journey and then going back to the 35 Sweet Oasis palette, picking up that first shade that we used. Um, just to even everything out and make sure that you're um, super happy and satisfied with your blending and the outcome. Going back to the 35 Sweet Oasis, taking the shade called Love Struck, I'm going to start to place it under my brow bone and then just blend out the pink shade that we placed. Now I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Eden Primer. You guys can also use foundation, concealer, whatever you are normally used to creating your half cut creases. I love using this Jaw Cosmetics brush um, number 003. Um, it's so super flat. I love it. I love whenever I'm going to be creating half cut creases or cut creases. I definitely think of this brush and I want to use it. Um, so right now I'm just following um, where you guys can see. Um, taking it all the way up to the crease um, and then obviously not high, not too high because we don't want to lose the eyeshadows that we just placed and then extend it going outwards to create that um, entire cut crease. So here comes the fun part. I'm going to go into this Epic Wear Eyeliner from NYX Cosmetics in the shade White. If you guys are familiar with this product, the original one definitely cracks a lot. This one, if you go to the store, um, the one that I have is more chubbier than the original one and it doesn't crack. Um, as bad as the original one. That one was really bad. So what I'm going to do you guys is start to just follow the crease um, and then we're going to drop it down as you guys can see here in this particular clip. So you drop it and you don't take it all the way towards the outer corner um, because we're going to go ahead and do this right here <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and connect it after we've dropped it um, pretty low. Um, so we can create um, or add some pink in there, which you guys will see throughout the video. So now for the main lid shade, you guys, I'm going to go into the Diamond Lights Finisher from Artist Couture in the shade called Epiphany. And then the Violet Voss Glitter Adhesive. As you guys can see here, it's absolutely gorgeous. So stunning. I used to love to use this when I would do quinceañeras. Um, I feel like it, it's like a really nice light pink, but it looks wet on the eye. It stays on the eye for the entire day. Um, you guys are more than welcome to also use my code if you are interested. Of course, I do earn some commission, but it helps to remove some money off your next purchase with Artist Couture, and it's just a sandy, and I will link it down below for you guys. But isn't it pretty? I love it. Next, you guys, I'm going to go back into the white eyeliner from NYX, and I'm just going to connect the liner to the top. Um, so it's, it's like you're creating a winged liner, but make sure you do connect it, or you can do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm going back to the Jaclyn Hill palette, picking up the shade called I'm In It, and I'm just going to highlight the inner corner. And I feel like it was like the perfect color because it has like a little a little tint or hint of like light purple. Um, and I just thought it fit really good because it really matches the um, diamond finisher from Artist Couture. So I thought it was just um, perfect. I'm going to finish off my skin off camera, you guys, and I'll be right back. So for lashes today, I'm going to go into the MUA palette in the Style Boss, and I'm not applying any eyeliner on the top lash line. You guys can totally do that if you are used to it, but I'm going to skip the eyeliner for today. Taking my Urban Decay 24-7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil, it's just in the shade black. I'm going to apply it towards the lower lash line. And then just going back into the Secret Lagoon shade, which is the first shade that we used in the crease, to blend that out. And then going back into Not My Journey from the Jaclyn Hill palette, remember the second shade that we used. And I'm going to start to blend that out as well. And then you guys already know the drill. The next shade that we placed um, will also be applied towards the lower lash line just to blend and smoke everything out. And like I say in mostly all my videos, you don't have to go this extreme or this low. Um, you have the control of how much product you want to apply. But you already know me, I love a nice smoked out lower lash line. Do you guys remember that negative space that we didn't fill in? I'm going to go into the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. I'm taking the shade called Wednesday, which is a matte eyeshadow. And I'm using the Morphe M250 to fill in that negative space. And then I will go in and set it with a pink eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. You guys can definitely add glitter here and, you know, get very creative. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it pink. 
Going into my Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara, I'm going to start to apply some mascara on my lower lashes. All right, my honeys, and that is it for today's makeup look. Um, of course, we just focus on the eyes today. What did you think? Did you learn something new? I challenge you to create this at home. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your recreations, but like I mentioned in the intro today, it's definitely very bold, very out there, very fun. Um, definitely for an Instagram pick. <laughs> um, definitely not an eyeshadow look for your typical nine to five chick, um, but this is definitely for um, all of my girls who do love to create colorful, fun eyeshadow looks for your Instagram. Uh, I had a lot of fun today. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You guys, it's crazy how fast my channel is actually growing, and it's all because of you. For all of you who do share my video um, to your family, your friends, I'm starting to see, like, we're about to hit 21, uh, 21K. I mean, we're about, like, what, 5,000 more subscribers left, but it's getting up there and i am just very very grateful for all of you um this channel i really just want you know to share the love that i have for makeup no drama nothing i really want this channel just to really stick to what i truly truly love what i'm passionate for and i want to trans um transfer that over to you guys if you also love makeup so if you're looking for drama uh this is not the channel <laughs> it's gonna be for you ever <laughs> uh but if you do want to take some time um, out of your life to watch me and play with some eyeshadow that is what i'm here for so i love you guys besitos i'll see you next time bye